огне Кто читает свои сны Поклоняюсь в темноте What's up guys, it's your boy Shima Hunchish here Back with another video And today You guys probably know this game And you probably don't This is a I guess you can say New Dragon Ball game On Roblox It's really good since Final Stand not getting no more updates, I've been playing this game. I already started. I'm not a low level. So, like, and I didn't record, like, when I first started playing the game because the game was too hard. The videos would have took, like, hours because I didn't know the controls on Xbox. I played a little bit on PC. I was, like, level 14 when I started on Xbox. Cause I did some on PC, and it would have been way too hard to do it on like video. Cause so, as you can see, I have a level 99 character. He's a Saiyan. If I do one more quest, I will be able to get to level 100. They added Namek recently, like a month ago. I know I'm really late. Uh. And when I reach level 100, I'm gonna get false Super Saiyan. Most of you guys should know that, because Dragon Ball. We're all Dragon Ball fans here. You should know what false Super Saiyan is. So, let's hop into the game. And, yeah. Alright, here we're in the game. This is my character. The hairstyle is really weird. I don't know why I chose it. There's also Namekians and stuff. There's a lot of races in this game. You got like Cal Saiyans. You got like Demons. You got Supreme Kai's. You got Bio Androids. You got Androids. Bio Androids are like self. Stuff like that. This is the flying animation, my running animation. This is the menu. You can get like, in the shop right here, you can get like animations. You got fighting style, throws, rushes, snaps, running, charging, flying. And there's also fighting styles in this game. Yeah, these are my fighting styles because I've trained with Master, as you can see. The more you progress to the story, the more people you can train with. Yeah, basically. And... Yes, I can become level 100 in this video. Let's go. I have my daily quests. Because yesterday I reached level 99. Didn't have any more quests to do. So I was basically mad. Because... Wasn't trying to stay in the level 99. So, these are my stats. Saiyans, if you look to the right above, like the health, agility, key control, and stuff, you see race ability. Every race has a different ability. For us Saiyans, basic melee damage doubles when your health bar turns red. Because that's the green thing up there and then you got the yellow thing not the xp bar which is at the very top under the green bar which is your key bar and it's yellow the purple bar i i guess that's your d vanish the blue bar is your stamina yeah i said i really don't know much Oh, these light work. Oh yeah, I have a scouter by the way. I can read people's power levels by clicking right on the D-pad. And also, another way, if you don't have the scouter, you don't need a scouter to know where people are. You, you just like, you can key sense them. They're gonna be like little white dots. You're not hitting me with that. Bro, you can't run from me. 
Get him out of here. Alright. So. I know this is not gonna level me up. Depends. Yeah, this is not gonna level me up. Yeah. Yeah, that's multiple quests. Alright, where's the quest? So, by where it says on the right, you see quest, lo quest location. That little symbol is basically the quest location. You gotta look for it on the map. Got the grade 8 Vegeta Raid, which is the little white dot. The legend of basically what, what every, like, color dot is is on your top right of your screen so yeah mutated spider of course light work oh yeah also the most important things oh i almost forgot there are transformations my first one is kaioken but for some reason, I guess that shit is glitched. So, you go down to transformations. I have Kaioken and Grade 8. Kaioken, I think you need to be like level 25. You gotta go to Otherworld. Basically, you reset. Instead of pressing respawn, you press go to Otherworld. Then it teleports you to Otherworld. I will show you that later. But as you can see, my Kaioken is equipped. So basically, all you really have to do is hold RT, hold LT, and then you see how the Kaioken is number one? It's on Y, so you press Y. And voila, Kaioken. You also lose health from being in this, so. Yeah, don't recommend being in it for a long time. It does give you like a melee damage boost. And I don't remember what else because I don't use Kaioken like that anymore. Only for like a big boost in power immediately. But yeah, I one shot them in this form now. One. Bye. Quest complete. I'm now halfway there from leveling up. Okay, now I shall show you the grade 8 form. There's something actually good about the grade 8 form. See right now the clothes I'm in? I'm gonna be a naked ape. But if you go into your inventory, you press the battle armor suit that they started off. That they that so basically the default clothes. And then you go into grade 8, you will see what shall happen. I don't know how to quick transform. I need to look that up. So you go grade 8, grade 8, grade 8. Then when you are complete, you see, I kept my clothes. But grade 8 is not really that useful to be honest. Yeah, it's really strong, but you see on Xbox, you're not even holding the RT button. It's going to make you shoot a beam. It's really weird. I can mark these dudes. Get hurt, boy. Get stomped on. Yeah, that is basically grade 8. For some reason, the ultimate doesn't work, which is a bummer. Holy moly, why is my camera so far out? I hate when the game... Okay, so when you respawn, when you press reset, it says respawn or go to other world. You go to other world, that's how you get Kaioken. You gotta go to King Kai's little planet. There's literally Snake Way in this game. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. So now let's go do another quest. I could just do the Vegeta raid quest, but eh, not now. Ooh, gonna go to Corrin's Tower, do that real quick daily quest. The yellow quests are basically daily quests. 
I did most of them like yesterday, like five or something. Five in the afternoon. So, those are not coming back until five in the afternoon. I did some of these when I woke up in the morning yesterday. So that's why they're here. Your boy's about to be a level 100. Literally, in this quest, all you gotta do is just jump off. And the thing is just right there on the ground. It's literally right here. Then quest complete, you just got some easy XP. Bang, bang. Alright. Let's do another daily quest. This civilian. He will say it. Easy money. 7,000 X. Why did I do all of this? Wait, do I have any quests in Otherworld? Oh yeah, in Otherworld, you got the Heaven and then you got the H-E-L-L. -L. I'm not gonna say that, but that's a bad thing. Alright, now we're here. So now we go kill them. Alright. Did that quest fight Raditz? Raditz is the first boss. Then you got Nappa. I think Nappa's Nappa's right there. Over there. He's like a really really dot like see those like two green dots right there? Nappa's like literally like Right here. Let me charge up like right there. Oh no 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 no! no. Oh, this, 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 this. So then you got after that you got Vegeta, which is in the Rocky Mountains. You see that humongous little arc? Yeah, Vegeta's down the arc. Fight Vegeta. After Vegeta, I think it's Turles. Yeah, Turlis, and then Slug, and then Cooler. Yeah. The hardest bosses out of all of those were literally Nappa, because Nappa does a stupid amount of freaking key damage. Bro, if you get hit once by his key damage, bro, and this goes for all the bosses, you get hit by the key damage, bro, you're done. You are done. Because, bro, bosses, it, it's not even a joke, bro. They do, bro, their key damage is too much damage. Like, too much damage, bro. I'm not even joking. The amount of times I've been killed because of their freaking blast, bro. Good, these black mist fighters. After this quest, I'm gonna show you guys, uh, Otherworld. When I reach level 100, I'll make a video on that. And, yeah. This video is basically just showing you about the game. And me also grinding to get freaking levels. So I can reach level 100. <laughs> How did I miss that? Did I not kill this dude? Get blocked. Get gr What? I didn't grab him. Get murked. Wow. Ran straight into the Kamehameha. Well, what can I see? 
You wanna get murked? Well, how about you get murked by key blast, which I don't use often, because uh, blocking in this game sometimes, it just doesn't register your block, but sometimes it's really annoying. Well, gonna show you guys other world now. Other world! Alright guys, we are here in Otherworld, they even give you a halo because we're dead. So you spawn right here, King Yama's castle's right there, Snake Waves right there, King Kai's planet is all the way over there. Yeah, you can find stuff, but... So, right here is Baba, Fortune Teller Baba. You can return to Earth, still dead, or you can go fully revived. To go fully revive, you talk to King Yama. Why is this dude in a party? That's some stalking stuff. So you talk to King Yama. Or you talk to Baba to go dead. King Yama lies, Baba dead. Here's Snake Way, the world's longest snake way I never want to go on. I can run like what one quarter of it. Not that I'm just giving up. I'm just giving up. Bro, Snake Way is freaking longer than you think. And it will how slow you run. Bro, this is not like Final Stand. Final Stand when you transform you run faster. This game, I don't understand the speed in this game, but some moves. Alright, so when you come to King Kai's planet, which is like right here, you talk to King Kai, you need to be like, what, level 25 and above? I talked to King Kai when I was like, what, level 50? Because I didn't even know about Kaioken in this game. So I basically fought the entire story without Kaioken. Tell me I'm not goaded, bro. I'm goaded. I literally did the entire story without Kaioken. So that means base form. Even with no grade 8. Grade 8, you get at level 50. So, yeah, I never really utilized Kaioken like that. Until I finished the entire story. I feel retarded. Well, so you talk to King Kai. He's gonna tell you to find bubbles. Basically, Bubbles is in King Yama Castle, but it's like, man, I'm too lazy to fly there. I'm just gonna reset and go back to the freaking spawn point. Cause that's way too far. I'm, I'm, I'm not even joking. So, you see those little four, like, things around King Yama's castle? You go to this back one right here. You go down. Where's Bubbles? You turn around. Voila. Dude's literally right here hiding in the corner. What I did, so I flew in, you know, did this, did this. I backed out, and then I see a Bubbles name. I look down, I find Bubbles. I'm like, what the is this garbage? Like, what? He was hiding in the corner the entire time, bro. And, um, if, as you can see those green quests, I already did my dailies in heaven. Well, there's really no days here. Bro, this place should have got more, like, quests, because, yeah, and this quest also has a raid, which is Evil Men. I don't want to say his name correctly. Evil Men. As he'll say. So, if you jump off the snake way, fall down through the clouds, voila, you're in Hila. Hila. You know? Where the bad people go. Hila. So, yeah, you got quests and stuff. There's one raid quest right there with the devil man. You got the, the quests are all down there. 
I get a pretty decent amount of active supply. So, yeah. Basically, I'm gonna wrap the video up here. It's your Blasting 100. And I'm out. Peace.